Good day. Good day. Myself, Jeevaran Srinivasan and my fellow colleague, Rohit Kumar. Today, we are going to present on the topic, Methodology and Possibilities of Targeted Therapy for Gastric Cancer. It was guided by Professor Elizaveta Ageva. Gastric Cancer. Gastric cancer is a type of cancer that develops in the cells which line in the stomach. It is relatively common type of cancer and can occur in any part of the stomach. Now we will see about causes of gastric cancer. There are five major causes for gastric cancer. They are helicobacter pyroli infection, diet, smoking, family history and previous stomach surgeries. Now we will see about role of mutation. Mutations of gene in gastric cancer is broadly classified into three categories. They are high frequency drivers, low frequency drivers and passenger mutation. High frequency drivers which display high rate of mutation 5 to 10 percent across multiple gastric cancers. Low frequency drivers which recurrently muted in the range of 1 to 10 percent and still contributing to the pathogenesis of the tumor. Passenger mutation, which arises as a consequence of underlying mutational processes such as CPG deamination, but are not functionally contributed in tumorogenesis. About 1 to 3 percent of gastric cancer are hereditary diffuse gastric cancers. Causes of inherited gastric cancer can to be many different types of mutations. As we can see in this slide, we are seeing tumor accumulation by CAPNPs by enhanced proliferation effect. In this slide, we can see cancer cells have high caspitin B and normal cells have low caspitin B. Target therapy. Now we will see about target therapy. Target therapy is a type of cancer treatment. It uses drugs to target specific genes and proteins that helps tumor cells survive and grow. Targeted therapy can affect the tissue environment that cancer cells grow or it targets cells which related to cancer cells for growth like blood vessel cells. Now we are seeing molecular targeted agent for gastric cancers. In these slides, we are seeing many phases and clinical uses of molecular target agent for gastric cancer. In different types of phases, we use different types of drugs, but in clinical use, we generally prefer high efficiency low toxicity drugs. Uh, for example, trastuzumab and ramocerumab, both are monoclonal antibodies which are given through intravenous infusion and both these drugs are added to chemotherapy regimen. These drugs composed of antibiotics and the proteins that recognize and which attacks the foreign substances in the body. These antibiotics usually attach to the surface of the cancer cells which interfere their ability to grow and function. From here on, my fellow colleague will start to explain. Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy it is a type of cancer treatment. It uses substance made by the body or in the laboratory to boost the immune system and help the body find and destroy the cancerous cell. Immunotherapy can treat many different types of cancers. It can be used alone or in combination with chemotherapy or other cancer treatments. Drug used in immunotherapy. Immunomodulators. Immunomodulator, it is a group of drug which we in which we use to block the checkpoint inhibitors. So first we will get to know what is checkpoint inhibitors. Immune checkpoints are a normal part of the immune system. Their role is to prevent our immune response from being so strong that it can destroy our healthy cells of the body. So checkpoint proteins such as PDL1 which is present on the tumor cells and PD-1 on T cells help keep immune response in check. The binding of PD-L1 to PD-1 keep T cells from killing tumor cells in the body. Blo to block this binding of PD-L1 to PD-1 with an immune checkpoint inhibitor allows the T cells to kill tumor cells. So to prevent this binding, we use drugs immunomodulators just like example dostrelimab, nivolumab and pembrolizumab. They inhibit the target the PD-1, PD-L1 pathway. Now in this slide, uh, we can see that the importance of the dendritic cell vaccine. The peptides, the antigen source for the dendritic cell is peptides, proteins, tumor cell lysate, tumor RNA and we can see that CD4, CD8, CD8 receptor acting on the tumor cells to destroy that. Now we will first see what is dendritic cell vaccine. 
Dendritic cell vaccines are a promising immunotherapy approach for the treatment of the various cancers, including gastric cancer. We need to sensitize dendritic vaccine to enhance their effectiveness against the cancers. So, to, uh, there are many ways on which we can sensitize our dendritic vaccine like tumor-associated antigen, adjuvants, cytokines, fusion with tumor cells, combination therapies. The current data demonstrate that the MG7 AG dendritic cell vaccine induced a potent CTL activity. This CTL has a significant cytotoxic effect on both CATO3 and MKN45 with a high level of MG7 expression. MG7 AG dendritic cell vaccine mediated CTL significantly inhibit the growth of tumor. Now we will see how we make dendritic cell vaccine. There are five uh, steps in which we make our dendritic cell vaccine. First, we take fresh blood from human body. Then we extract monocytes from that in second step. Then we cultivate that monocytes and add GM CSF in that. After that, we add antigen in that. And after that, it get mature and it will get uh, back again to human. Dendritic cell vaccine targets some receptors as we can see in this slide the CD14, Dactin1, there are so many. Now the conclusion of the, this topic. Gastric cancer is an aggressive oncological disease in the treatment of which a new era is coming. This is facilitated by the study and the clarification of the role of the molecular mechanism such as VEGF, EGFR, fibroblast growth factor receptors, PIK, 3CA, and PARP1. It is promising to develop new personalized approaches to therapy based on targeted drugs using cellular and humoral mechanism for controlling the patient's immune response. Thank you. Thank you.